Okay, folks. Well, we're just past the 11 o'clock hour, so I want to say good morning again. I think we're ready to start. Uh, for those of you who don't already know me, I'm Anne Marie, one of the account managers here at Covington Deck Travel. Today, I'm here with Scott Gravitt and our panel of guests. We all want to personally thank you for joining our webinar. I know everyone's time is limited, and we appreciate you spending your time with us. Uh, since we're just after 11 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Scott to make additional introductions and begin our webinar. Thank you, Anne Marie. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, and thank you for taking your time today to attend our webinar, The Changing State of Business Travel. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the things you're going to be seeing as you start to travel once again in both air, hotel, and car. But before we get started, let's go ahead and talk about a couple of our housekeeping rules. All participants are going to be muted, and if you're not seeing yourself as muted, if you could please you scroll down to the bottom and mute yourself so we can really all focus on the presenters and what they are presenting for us today. So if you don't see yourself as muted, please mute yourself so we can all hear and enjoy what they're saying. Questions, because we are all muted, we're gonna go ahead and down at the bottom, when you scroll over, you will also see a chat window. Please place all your questions there and we're gonna circle back at the end of all the presentations and answer them at that time. Uh, if your question is not answered today, we will get back to you and email you the answer to that to the best of our availability. The presentation availability, we will make that this whole slide presentation available to you somewhere in the near future. And with that being said, going to go over it. Today we have Anne Marie Justice from Covington Travel on the phone. Anne Marie is a Richmond native. She's been in the travel industry for 30 years with over eight years here at Covington Travel. I've been with Covington for two and a half with previous experience in travel the sales. Stuff was on me. Once again, if you do not see yourself on mute, the post office please mute yourself. No. Um, who's ever talking about the post office, if you could please mute yourself, that would be <laughs> really appreciated. Thank you. As I was saying, I've been with Covington for two and a half years with previous experience in travel and sales with five years as a road warrior and a traveler. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and turn our presentation over to Trish and the Delta team. Trish has worked for Delta for 36 years, starting in Norfolk Airport with Delta, also working in Delta's training department in Atlanta and moving into sales where she has now been for 26 years. Trish also owned a travel agency in Virginia Beach for four years, but came back to Delta to be a territory sales account manager in 1998. Now an empty nester, her and her husband reside in Virginia Beach with their island dog and cat. Cynthia has been in travel for over 20 years. She started with Delta in 2009 as a ready reserve administrative assistant, promoted to a full-time customer service agent, and promo promoted again in October 2014 to operations service manager, all based in St. Louis. In October 2019, she worked on various projects in Atlanta while working in St. Louis, and in January 2020, she accepted an interim station manager position supporting the team in Richmond. Stephanie Reich is an associate with the Delta Global Support Team. She has worked with the sales team as an internal sales support resource for a variety of things like reservations, waivers, and ticketing. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn the presentation over to Trish from Delta, and she's going to let us know about some of the policies and procedures we're going to be seeing as we're traveling again now. Okay, great. Thank you, Scott and Anne-Marie. Um, we really appreciate this. Um, I really want to do a shout out to Covington. Um, you know, we really appreciate you getting the web together. It takes a lot of time. So, um, and going, talking about relationships, you know, Covington and Delta go back a lot of years. Um, it's been over 35 years that we work together. So, um, that's a good long time and we appreciate all that you do. So, um, so I'm excited to talk about the Delta Care Standard. So you might be wondering what that is, but from the moment you check in, from the moment you check in to the reach the baggage claim, 
you'll experience a new standard care of service. Uh, we focus on keeping surfaces clean, giving you more space, and offering safer service and personal personal care at every step of the way. So let's move to the next slide. Okay, we're going to talk about pre-arrival. Um, what I'm going to do is just really give you a travel ribbon, how it starts and uh, what you can expect from now. So when you start, um, you can expect to receive emails sent to you um, just talking and preparing you about your trip. Uh, but I would suggest the best thing to do also is to download the Delta app. Um, that way you can have a seamless, touchless experience and you can locate your bags, you can check in, you'll be receiving notifications. So I would say definitely do that right away. Then you could be all set. Um, another thing you want to do, you want to check your destination entry requirements because some cities and countries have travel mandates in place. So you definitely want to know what the restrictions are once you fly to that city or country. And uh, the last thing is bring a mask. You know, um, you're going to re be, be required to wear a mask at the airport and on the flight. If for some reason you forget your mask when you check in at Delta at the Richmond airport or whatever, wherever airport, um, we do have Delta care kits on site that we could give you. And inside that kit has also two Purell wipes, um, but then you can have your mask. So, and you will be required to wear that mask. Cynthia probably will go over a few requirements on uh, wearing the mask. So, next slide. Okay, when you check in, you're gonna do things a little bit differently now. So, um, everybody, like I said, is you know requested to wear a mask. The kiosks are being wiped and sanitized frequently throughout the day. You're gonna see hand sanitizers everywhere. They've been added near the high traffic areas and employees will be on help on hand to help you guide through, you know, through safety or any questions that you have. Um, the check-in counters are being constantly wiped down throughout the day. Um, you'll see, um, I was at the Richmond Airport tour and we had their uh, sanitizing wipes everywhere at several different locations. Uh, we've also added plexiglass shields to the Delta counters and the baggage stations where um, your bags are located and dropped that's being wiped down and sanitized daily throughout. So, next slide, please. Okay, when you go through TSA, some changes there as well. So, um, the bins are being wiped down and sanitized frequently throughout the day. The customers and TSA employees are required to wear the mask through TSA. Um, you will see the masks and gloves on TSA employees. Um, so, so also to promote safe distancing, um, alternating lanes are used with TSA. Um, I actually experienced that last week. Uh, one lane was open and uh, they opened up another lane just to create some safe distancing. And then you will see a hand sanitizer right when you exit CSA. Okay, next slide please. Okay, in the gate area. Um, we have at the gate, you know, our focus is to prepare customers for the aircraft um, for safe boarding process. Um, we're doing electrostatic spraying with our high grade disinfectant at our gate areas. Uh, we disinfect our jet bridges and the spray disperses in a really fine mist and it clings to surfaces. Um, everyone needs to be wearing a mask at the gate area. Cleaning supplies have been added to the counter for agents to spot clean as they need. You'll see also plexiglass shields are there. Um, gate counters are constantly being wiped down. Um, you know, if you have the Delta Fly app, uh, the Fly Delta app, you can be used, you can use that to scan your boarding card. So um, that would create a touchless boarding experience. And to minimize contact with other customers, boarding will occur now from back to front. So, um, and if you're a Sky Miles medallion member, you can board still anytime you wish. But, um, and it's mainly going like groups of 10 for boarding from back to front. The jet bridges are being wiped down frequently throughout the days. And we have added decals inside the jet bridges. If you see number 10 on this list, you can see the decals to the right uh, to create social distancing. And you also see hand sanitizers also near the high traffic areas. 
Okay, next slide, please. Okay, on, on board. So, um, you know, a lot of great care is taken for our onboard safety. So, um, the flight attendants have an extensive checklist to make sure that everything is perfect on the flight. So, and if a flight doesn't pass our spot check, our teams can hold the flight back uh, for uh, to have the cleaning crew come back in. So, um, we are also doing the electrostatic spraying um, on the aircraft, and I've seen that many times. And if you haven't seen it, um, I believe Covington has that on their site, on their website, that you can see a demonstration of that. It's really unique and effective, and the sprayers disperse a disinfectant throughout the entire cabin. So they start in the back. Um, all the tray tables are taken out. They, uh, the disinfectant would be through the entire cabin by each row. Uh, the tray tables are disinfected, and the overhead, overhead bins are uh, disinfectant before every flight. And uh, the lavatories, the galleys, everywhere. And um, just briefly talking about our galleys too, um, our galleys and our lavatories. Um, on the lavatories, we get a lot of questions about this, but our lavatories are deep cleaned all the time. And our flight attendants also have a thing called a tidy kit that they are cleaning the lavatories in between the flights during the duration also. So. And another th great thing we have on the flight is a uh, we have with all of our aircraft are the HEPA filters, and that's the air that's coming in from the outside, and that's done every three minutes. New fresh air comes in, and then our high grade HEPA filters. And I I will add that we change those more than the factory recommended is for that, but our high grade HEPA filters extract more than ninety nine point ninety percent of all particles, including viruses. So I think that's a really great thing, fun, good fact. Um, also, we're blocking seats, we're blocking 60%, we're actually booking 60% of our main cabin and 50% of first class. So we're, that's the cap for the cabin. And we are blocking center seats of our flights. So, um, you know, if you happen to see two people sitting together, most likely they're a family member that have asked to be sit to, you know, seated together. But um, that's a really unique thing that Delta is doing also. That's in effect till September 30th. And I know there is a uh, chat more about looking at a date beyond that. So, um, so customers must wear masks on the flight and um, you will be given, um, you know, when you get on the flight, um, the flight attendant will have will hand out a little bla a bag that's got a uh, water, uh, a snack kit, Biscoff cookies, Cheez Its, and Purell wipes. Um, there's very limited, um, as far as you know, uh, meal service, and they want you to really keep the mask on at all times. So, um, but basically, it's fun on the flight. Um, okay. Um, next slide, please. Setting, setting, settings. Setting, so, um, seat backs and baggage claim. I'm going to just talk briefly about this. So, um, we have wellness kits on board that include wipes also. So, if you wanted to have pure wipes on the flight, the flight attendant will be able to give you that. You can see that all of our tray tables are taken down and thoroughly wiped down. Um, Seat back screens, which are touch screens where you watch movies and everything, they're constantly being wiped down. Um, and you won't see on the flight anymore non-essential items such as Sky magazines or glassware. They've been removed. Um, the only thing you'll see on board right now would be in the seat back will be an emergency pamphlet. So, um, and just recently what I talked about, the food and beverage has been pared down. Um, and you will receive your snack bag when you come on board. So, and talking about baggage claim also, uh, baggage claim, the same things. We have our electrostatic spraying at our baggage claim. We've put floor decals down at baggage claim. Um, you have hand sanitizer stations everywhere. And our baggage claim offices are also are being wiped down and sanitized throughout the day. Uh, we have plexiglass shields there. So, um, and uh, one final thing too. So we are also partnering with Lysol and 
to develop more breakthrough disinfecting solutions um, from more hygiene in the air. So we, we just announced our partnership with Lysol. We're excited about that. We also have a partnership with Mayo Clinic and uh, Mayo Clinic is actually designed for Delta employees and um, their uh, uh, Delta employee will be tested for COVID. So, um, and we're working with Mayo Clinic for that. And um, uh, they're helping us analyze trends and getting results and everything. So, but, you know, we're really, really excited about everything we're doing and um, what we're going to play next. We're going to do a short video of some airport tours. And this is just a visual so you can see what to expect. So the next time you fly, we have Chuck Inhoff, who is our sales VP of New York. We're actually doing airport tours throughout the system, but um, this is one that he did in New York. And I think you'll kind of find it kind of interesting. So. Okay, thanks again. We uh, really appreciate your attention and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Thank you, Trish. I'm going to turn control over to Anne Marie and she's going to show you a quick video on Delta Clean. And we're going to watch that and then we're going to move on to the Richmond Airport and what you might see there. Anne Marie, let us know when you're ready. Ready. Hi, I'm Chuck Imhoff, Delta's Vice President of Sales for the East. I'm here in New York and I'd like to welcome everybody to LaGuardia Airport. You know, today we put together a fantastic tour for you to showcase the new Delta Care Standard. From the moment you check in to when you reach baggage claim, you'll experience a new standard of care. Our Delta Care Standard focuses on keeping surfaces clean, giving you more space, and offering safer service and personal care at every touch point in your journey. Now, before we start the tour, there are some things you can do prior to your trip. Before your flight, you'll receive a pre-trip email with all of the information that you need for your upcoming travel. Check your destination's entry requirements before arriving at the airport, as several states and countries have issued travel mandates that may affect your trip. Bring a mask or a face covering and pack your own food items. This is especially important for long flights, since many of the airport food offerings are limited during this time. Now, let's join the tour with everyone else and let's get started. Our goal is to show you exactly what to expect and all of the initiatives that we put in place to ensure your safety. First, to ensure everyone's safety, our employees will all have the temperature taken. All of our employees are required to wear a face mask or a face covering. All our customers must wear a mask or a face covering. And if you forget your mask, we have these available throughout the airport. We call them the Delta Care Kits. Kiosks are being wiped down, sanitized frequently. But if you want a touchless experience, we recommend that you download the Fly Delta app. But the check-in counters are being wiped down and sanitized frequently throughout the day. And you'll notice several hand sanitizer dispensers that we've added in all high touch locations throughout the airport. And then lastly, the plexiglass shields have been added at all Delta counters that are staffed with an agent throughout the airport. And then floor decals have been added to provide social distancing while in line. Now, we've just come through security. Both customers and TSA employees are required to wear masks or face coverings at TSA checkpoints. Bins are being wiped down and sanitized frequently throughout the day. And to promote safe distance, alternating lanes are being used when available. And hand sanitizing stations are being placed near the exit. All individuals that enter the Delta Sky Club will be required to wear a face mask. High traffic areas throughout the club along with restrooms are being wiped out and sanitized frequently throughout the day. And to reduce service touch points, we've switched from a buffet style to a pre-packaged food option. And here at the gate area, the electrostatic spraying with a high-grade disinfectant is used to sanitize all the gate area and jet bridges. The Fly Delta app can be used to scan your boarding pass for touchless boarding. App users will also be sent a notification that their aircraft has been sanitized and inspected before boarding. 
To minimize your contact with other customers, boarding will occur from the back to the front. Boarding is now limited to 10 customers at a time. To give you more space, select seats have been temporarily blocked across all cabins, and the total number of customers per flight has been reduced. So our efforts around cleaning don't stop when you get off the airplane. We also disinfect and use the electrostatic spraying with a high-grade disinfectant all throughout the baggage claim area. We also ensure social distancing with markers around the baggage carousel. And again, we have hand sanitizing stations on the way out. Well, that concludes our tour here at LaGuardia Airport. Hopefully now you have a deeper understanding of all of the initiatives that we put in place to ensure your safety as part of the new Delta Care standard. When you're ready to fly, we're ready for you. It is a privilege and honor to serve you, and we can't wait to see you soon. Thank you, Anne-Marie. And we're gonna go ahead and jump back into the presentation here in one second. Okay, we're now gonna talk with Cynthia Jansen from the Delta Airport. And she's gonna to talk to us some of the things you might see in Amazon on the news rules and regulations that you're gonna see when you're at the airport, both here at Richmond and others uh, in the next minute or two. Cynthia, take it away. Cynthia, uh, you might be on mute. Let's see. Hello, Cynthia. All right. Well, uh, Cynthia appears to be muted at this time. So we are going to go ahead and move into hotel. And for hotel today, we have Jessica Adams. Jessica is a graduate of James Madison University with a major in hospitality management. After graduation, Jessica and her husband moved to Richmond after a couple of years of event planning. She made the jump to the hotel industry. Um, she's now the director of sales with the Holiday Inn Express Midtown and she enjoys spending weekends with her husband and her two-year-old daughter. Jessica, please take it away. Good morning, everyone. I'm really excited to be with you guys. Um, so a little bit about kind of where I stand, um, and you can go to the next slide if you want, Scott. Perfect. Okay, so um, I personally represent the uh, individual property, the Holiday Inn Express Richmond Midtown um, at Staples Mill and Broad in Richmond. Um, but of course, we are part of the bigger IHG branding. So I'm going to try to go over a little bit of both of um, a couple of things we're doing at our hotel specifically in Richmond, as well as what IHG is doing as a whole. Um, most of those align. Um, so at our property, you can keep going. All right. Um, so the IHG um, and Holiday and Express brand in general, um, most of our travelers are the business travelers. They're the, they're the middle class ones that, you know, need a place to work and play. Um, and most of them are driven by, by value added amenities. Um, and so part of, you know, the whole COVID situation is what, what value and what amenities we can still offer um while also being safe and, and conscious as well as what what's practical and what's smart to keep everyone safe so that's been ihg's biggest driver is providing the best value we can uh, while also being safe um so you can go to the next slide can you go to the next slide scott please yep are you seeing it? Oh, perfect. Sorry, there we go. Took a second. Um, so most of what we have done is um, ensuring that there's a consistent experience across all brands. So IHG has really implemented across all Holiday Inn Expresses, across all Crown Plazas, Holiday Inns, that we have the same amenities at each hotel. Um, within reason, obviously, there's governor mandates that we have to follow, but for the most part, everything is the same. So. 
Um, we're trying to offer very similar breakfast styles, very similar lobbies and hotel rooms, um, what's included, what's not included, um, and trying to keep those um, amenities um, as we can. So we're still trying to open pools, open fitness centers. Um, personally, at our property, we do have those open. We are allowed to have them in Richmond. Um, and also following um, all the protocols, too, we are really trying to limit what is um, available as far as a contact surface uh, to prevent the virus spreading and what you don't have to touch um, to, to kind of enjoy things as well. Um, those things that are high point touch areas, uh, we're really making sure that we use the electrostatic sprayers, the disinfectants, um, and all the same protocols that, you know, that, that Delta is using that you know, other brands are using as well with all the different um, disinfectants and cleaners. Um, so the next slide uh, really has our clean promise, which is the most important part. Um, so the IHG Clean Promise, we partnered with the Cleveland Clinic and Ecolab um, to ensure that we have the highest cleanliness standards. Um, and so pretty much in um, a concise words, what it means is that when a guest checks in, if the room is not up to their cleanliness standards, um, we have an hour to make it right. So we either switch them to a different room, whether that's an upgraded room or just another room of equal um, level, or we come back in and we reclean the room. Um, of course, you know, using the gloves, wearing the mask, um, using the Ecolab products, using the electrostatic sprayer, um, all of those items are done. Um, but the promise is, is that if, the, if they come in and the room's not right, we're going to make it right so that they have the cleanliness that they deserve. Um, so that being said, Scott has a video that he can show you real quick on IHG's Clean Promise. Sure. Thank you, Jessica. I'm going to turn that back over to Anne Marie so she can share her screen and show you that video. So, one second, and we'll get that quick video about IHG Claim Promise right up for you. Around the world, we've been busy planning how to welcome you back. We know our heartfelt care needs to look a bit different now. Your safety and well being will always be our top priority. So, with our longtime partners, Ecolab and Diversi, we're enhancing our IHG Way of Clean program. And we've partnered with the Cleveland Clinic on new global cleanliness initiatives to help ensure you feel safe. We're focusing on frequent deep cleaning and disinfecting and social distancing measures. We're exploring new ways to reduce contact at our front desks use of protective equipment, new cleaning methods and technologies, sanitizer stations for everyone, and cleanliness amenity kits for our guests. We've enhanced our room cleaning procedures and are clearing and opening up our spaces. We've developed new dining guidelines and to ensure we never lose focus on these key areas, we're assigning clean champions at all of our hotels around the world. Additionally, we're launching our IHG Clean Promise. We promise that when you're ready to travel again, your stay will meet our high standards of cleanliness. If not, we'll make it right. We can't wait to see you again. Awesome. Thank you, Scott. Um, so really in short, the, with the clean promise, um, I, as you saw, all of the um, hotel employees are required to wear masks. Um, also, every hotel employee, housekeeping and non-housekeeping, is required to complete um, an IHG clean promise certification. So the front desk, the housekeeping, the breakfast attendants, everybody is um is certified on their on their cleaning program so that we all know the, the proper procedures to do that. Um, we do have the cleaning kits um, similar to Delta's with, you know, the masks, the, the sanitizers um, and such available at the front desk for guests that need them, um, particularly in the state of Virginia. We're still required to wear masks, everybody. So we do hand those out to guests that don't have masks um, just to ensure not just the safety of you know our employees, but the safety of the guests around them, um, you know, with, with, with high traffic areas like hotel lobbies, you don't know who's walking in and out. So uh, we want to make sure that the guests, um, not just that particular one, but the other ones that are in the hotel all feel like we're, we're doing our part and really um, making sure that everyone is comfortable. 
Um, we can move to the next slide. Um, so one of the biggest things um, that has been adjusted, of course, is breakfast. Um, right now, we cannot offer um, a buffet breakfast to the capacity that we used to. Um, there's a lot of stipulations around, around what can be um, exposed and what can't. So just to be on the safe side, IHG has offered a few different breakfast options and they try to keep these consistent across all the um, hotels, regardless of the state that you're in. So um, basically they rolled out three different options. The hotels were able to choose which one's best for their state. Um, and this way, when the traveler's traveling and they go from Texas to Virginia to New York, they, they experience a very similar, um, a, a very similar breakfast. So with us personally, we are offering hot breakfast items, but they're individually wrapped and the breakfast attendant individually bags them and essentially puts like a little lunch bag together and sends them off. Um, it's all socially distant with the same decals on the floors um, to make sure the lines are um, are nice and safe. Uh, the sanitize, you know, everything is sanitized and there are no public touch points since the individualized breakfast attendants are the ones putting together the breakfast and bagging it up. So there are no more buffet lines. There are no more public touch points of the breakfast area, um, but they still get to individualize what they ask for um, with their breakfast, especially if there's any health concerns or dietary concerns, um, they can still customize each item. It's not, um, they're not pre-done bags. So that kind of gives some people some flexibility um, in that aspect. You can go to the next slide. Um, guest rooms are probably um, one of the bigger things that you know people are focusing on. That's where that's where they're spending their time. So we really focus on um, you know at our hotel we do have the individualized AC and heating units, so the air is individual for each room. So there's no shared circulation. Um, we still have all the features that you know people traveling into hotels like the, the blackout curtains, the you know the fridge, the coffee maker. Um, but we're focusing on the things that you don't need. So the pens, the papers have been removed. Um, any any little odds and ends that are just not necessary um, are, are out of the rooms. And then uh, the items that you still need, the work lamps, the TVs, the remotes, those are all cleaned using the electrostatic sprayers. They're cleaned using the different Ecolab products. Um, and then, of course, there's the IHG promise in there as well. Um, if it's not to their standards when they arrive, we do fix it for them. And then as far as public space, the lobbies are still the lobbies at hotels. We still encourage people to come out of their rooms. Um, I mean, they've always been a clean area, but now they're cleaner than ever. Um, again, using that same electrostatic sprayer, using the same products. Um, we socially distant wise, people naturally socially distant in, in hotel lobbies. They're not um, quick to sit next to someone they don't know, but um, you know, they are they are already spread out as well. We do have uh, the flexibility for them to work because most people are on work trips, so we don't want them to have to stay in their in their room if they don't want to. So we do make sure our lobbies um, are cleaned regularly throughout the day, so they feel safe um, and they can come down and work in the lobby if they feel the need to. You can go to the next slide. Um, a few other changes that have been made um, as far as reducing touch points and contact areas, housekeeping service has been limited. Um, so with IHG hotels, it's now every seven days unless requested. Um, and that's really to minimize, you know, the housekeepers coming in and out. Um, and if, you know, beforehand they were coming in daily. So they're touching, you know, your doorknob daily, your restroom daily, um, switching out your towels. And while they are providing you cleaning products, it's still, um, if the traveler is is concerned and is trying to be safe and conscious, they, they probably don't want someone in their room every day. Um, so now it is, it is done every seven days just to minimize that contact unless they request it. If they request it, of course, we come in every day um, and do their housekeeping. Um, some people don't want full service. They just want to come to the front desk, grab new towels, and that's it. Um, so they do have those options available. Um, but of course, like we mentioned, the clean promise is there to make sure the room is right from when they check in so they don't have any issues. Um, and and to and for most people at the you know at the Holiday Express, most of the business travelers aren't staying more than seven days, um, so it really doesn't um, affect them too much. They're usually here for two three days and then they um, head back home. Uh, as far as individual workstations, you know we do have the work desks in the room with the individual lamps. So those that are concerned and don't want to be in the public areas, they have that option in the rooms. Um, everything has been sanitized for them. And then they also have their individual restrooms. Um, so they don't they don't have to go to the lobby. There's of course, you know, there is the public restroom, but they can use their individual restroom and feel safe and clean in their rooms. And go to the next slide. 
Um, and lastly, just a little uh, IHG bonus, of course, with um, with COVID, it's been really hard for people to plan out. So IHG does offer um, no cancellation, no attrition, and short-term, uh, short-form contracts. Um, and they actually just updated it yesterday for new events and groups booked by December and used by June of 2021. So they did extend it. Um, just a little bonus to make people feel more comfortable about booking so they don't have um, huge cancellations and penalties uh, with hotels. And that is all I have for IHG. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you so much for that. Thanks, guys. We now move into CAR, and we will be speaking with Jessica Priestley and Michael DeRosa. Jessica is currently the Southern Virginia Raleigh, North Carolina account manager for Hertz. She currently resides here in Richmond, Virginia and joined the Hertz team in November of last year. She's originally from Orlando, Florida and attended the University of Florida. Mike DeRosa is the regional sales manager. Mike has been part of the Hertz family for more than 18 years now and currently manages Virginia, North Carolina and Baltimore regions. He's based in Washington, DC and is originally from Boca Raton, Florida where he attended Florida State University. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Jessica to talk about the different policies and procedures you're going to be seeing with Hertz and when you're at the airport and when you're in the car. So, Jessica, take it away. Well, yeah, thanks for that introduction. And this is Mike. So I guess I'll start and then I'll let Jessica go through the slides. But, uh, you know, a couple a couple things here is that it's uh, I'm ready to travel, right? Um, uh, I feel the, the cleaning procedures at the industry as a whole from air hotel and what you'll see in car, I think are well aligned and taking the, uh, the, the safety and the cleaning standards, uh, seriously and, and, and try to, uh, get that consumer confidence back as fast as we can. So, uh, uh, very impressive what, what Delta and IHG there has, has shared. You'll see a lot of similarities with us as well. Um, you know, uh, and then before I turn it over to Jessica, I'll just say that, you know, that, you know, with her starting in November, this is her intro to the travel industry during the pandemic. So, uh, um, while she's only been here seven months, uh, man, she's, she feels like an industry uh, savvy vet for sure. Uh, and, and we both are proof that Florida State and the University of Florida alumni can coexist. Much to uh, people chagrin, uh, chagrin there. So, uh, so with that, um, I'll let Jessica go through this, um, and uh, I'm sure I'll chime in at some point as well. So, go ahead, Jess. Thanks, Mike, and uh, thanks Covington for allowing us to provide some hurts and uh, car updates for y'all. And hello to our partners, and thank you to Covington again um, for allowing us to take part in this. Just wanted to give a few updates um, on the car side of the, the travel world right now um, and then provide a few more specific cleanliness and safety updates towards the end here, but just going to breeze through a few updates um, for y'all. So the first one, of course, is masks. Uh, we did announce this um, July 27th as a requirement um, for all customers um, as well as employees at our Hertz locations. Uh, we are requiring those masks. We're following CDC guidelines to ensure that we are doing all that we can to prevent the spread of coronavirus. So during this time, you know, we are taking that very seriously. And of course, if you know there are young children and anyone with health conditions, um, they are exempt from wearing those masks. But we are, you know, requiring that at all Hertz locations now. And next slide. And another, uh, I guess, big topic is, of course, uh, loyalty and statuses, of course, and points. I know all of the frequent travelers are very concerned with that. And, you know, once they're ready to get back on the road, we wanted them to keep their statuses. So uh, we did extend current member statuses through January of 2022. We went ahead and did that to provide an extra peace of mind. We also did extend points that were expiring from the March to June period. Um, kind of that peak travel freeze period, and we did extend those until the end of the year. Um, members uh, in their emails, in their gold rewards profile, there was an email sent along. Um, there was a button to extend uh, my points, pretty easy uh, to extend those, and they will appear in those uh, gold rewards uh, member accounts. So just emphasizing again, we just wanted to extend points. We wanted to 
um, of course, keep statuses for our loyalty members. Uh, we appreciate the partnerships we have with those travelers, and we wanted to ensure that, you know, those statuses continued. Um, I know they were hard earned, and we want to make sure everyone keeps those going. Next slide, please. And I put this together to kind of emphasize the low contact options for our loyalty members. Um, I'll first uh, by start by saying that Hertz Gold Plus Rewards is free to join, very easy enrollment process. Um, and these are some of the aspects of that um, low touch options that I, I wanted to kind of emphasize here. So for our loyalty members, you are able to skip the counter and the line. Um, go to the gold board. If you're familiar with our process, you know, you just go to the uh, gold board, see your name, and you go to your zone. You uh, can utilize ultimate choice to just go pick your car, um, jump in, and drive out. So really, through the whole uh, loyalty process, you're really able to kind of avoid um, that contact with employees, um, other customers as well. Um, also, on the return side of things, you are able to uh, do the e-return process and have your receipt just emailed to you, another great low-touch option. And refueling, um, I know that's been an interesting topic in a lot of um, our meetings with our partners. Um, you know, that is an option. So if you are um, looking for another contactless um, piece of the rental car side of travel, um, you are able to leave that car um, to Hertz to refill um, with fuel at the end um, of returning that vehicle. So again, you can avoid those gas stations, the dirty pumps, any other customers or patrons of the gas station. Um, you can leave the refueling to us. And finally, vehicle delivery is available. So we have neighborhood locations all over um, and we are working with them to deliver cars as requested. Um, that does not come at the additional cost and we are you know, delivering vehicles to customers as requested. Again, that kind of eliminates that entry of any location. So if you do want kind of the ultimate <laughs> low touch experience, that is an option as well. Next slide, slide please. And I wanted to go into a little bit more specific detail about the cleanliness and safety actions um, that Hertz is committed to during this time. Um, I'll first uh, state that we are adhering to guidance from the CDC uh, the United States government, um, local health authorities, and then internationally, we're also abiding by uh, local health authorities as well, and the World Health Organization. So we do have a uh, intranet um, site for Hertz um, operation side that is having continuous updates from all of these organizations, and we are committed to ensuring that we're abiding by all recommendations um, and regulations to ensure uh, that our travelers are getting to where they need to be safely and with confidence. And the next slide, we'll get into a little bit more of the specific details of the cleaning side. Um, so first, uh, alongside I, um, IHG and Delta, of course, we have our promise um, to, you know, committed to creating the cleanest uh, rental experience possible. And we are doing the Hertz Gold Standard Clean. So. With this, we're actually implementing a 15-point cleaning process uh, meeting CDC guidelines, um, and we're utilizing our new Hertz Total Disinfectant, um, and I'll get into that on the next slide um, and kind of the details on that. But at the end of this 15-point cleaning process, we're actually sealing the vehicle. Um, so the concept behind this is uh, that traveler is coming up to that vehicle and can visually see the seal and know that it is marked and cleaned properly through those CDC guidelines and disinfected. Um, so this is our promise to make sure that those vehicles are sanitized, um, they are disinfected meeting those guidelines, um, and that customer knows that when they're um, entering that vehicle, they're the first ones um, jumping in and getting in that car and um, being on their way. And next slide here. Um, so a little bit more about that um, all-in-one cleaner. So the Hertz Total Disinfectant is a new all-in-one cleaner and disinfectant uh, solution that we did roll out during this time period. So we did implement an EPA-approved cleaner and disinfectant that we are utilizing to clean the areas that are most frequently touched. Um, you'll see on that list there uh, a few of the points there. Of course, the steering wheel, the center console, uh, controls, the keys, um, you know, we want to ensure that those are um, sanitized and disinfected, um, you know, after a return of the rental 
Um, also, employees are utilizing um, disposable gloves while cleaning the rental vehicles. Um, also, at the counters um, at our locations and buses when cleaning other uh, frequently touched surfaces as well. Um, there are instructions for those employees how to remove them properly to avoid um, any cross-contamination um, as well. Um, next slide here. I wasn't. Gonna so another interesting point that came up, of course, during this time is, um, you know, what if a vehicle has been exposed? What if we suspect if um, a customer has been, um, you know, experiencing symptoms or um, knows that they um, yeah. caught the virus and was in a vehicle? So, of course, the disinfecting guidelines do vary upon the situation. Uh, the first um, situation I'll highlight is if a vehicle was returned by the customer and after the fact, now this um, customer is indicating that they may have uh, exposed the vehicle to coronavirus. Um, in this situation, uh, we'll be kind of quarantining the vehicle, so to speak. Um, so for after seven days, we'll actually um, put the vehicle in through a new sanitization and cleaning process um, that I just mentioned. Um, so it will be on uh, quarantine for seven days and then sanitized if we do suspect that. Uh, the other scenario to highlight is if uh, the customer reports they have coronavirus, maybe they had to um, seek medical attention for that, and they cannot return the vehicle themselves, and they don't want to have anyone else in that vehicle that they know return that either. Um, in this situation, we would actually have the customer place the keys within the vehicle and leave it unlocked, and we will work with a towing company to transport that vehicle to uh, the nearest Hertz location. And once that hits the Hertz location, then we'll also be putting that vehicle on a quarantine um, and holding it and preventing um, any rental of it until it is disinfected by a qualified third party vendor. Um, and those are kind of the two pieces of the vehicle exposure guidelines that I wanted to highlight. Um, and I know that was uh, kind of a hot topic on, on our end, how to resolve um, any exposure. And those are um, the highlights for that. Next slide, slide please. And another aspect of rental um, is, of course, the customer area, as well as the buses um, at the airport um, that transport customers. So first and foremost, those customer areas will be cleaned every two hours, um, utilizing that all-in-one um, disinfectant that I did mention earlier. Um, that'll include all those frequently touched areas, counters, the doors to the locations, the kiosks at the airport. Um, and all those other um, commonly touched surfaces as well. And the buses, um, this was also a, a very large um, center of focus for Hertz. We wanted to ensure that um, those bus trips were safe as possible. Um, so a, a few of the pieces of that safety experience is that we are uh, wiping down and disinfecting um, the most uh, frequently touched areas with that disinfectant. Uh, we do have signage on um, the buses um, that are instructing customers and employees to maintain that distance um, when entering and exiting. We're also limiting the capacity of the vehicles um, to ensure distancing as well. Um, and another um, piece of the puzzle was, you know, a lot of times drivers will assist with luggage um, and, you know, come into contact with that. So we do also have signage on the vehicles um, instructing our staff um, to not handle lug luggage unless absolutely necessary. Um, that's also communicated to our um, travelers as well. And next slide, thank you. And again, kind of emphasizing the social distancing, of course, the bus um, experience is socially distant, but also our locations have signage and instructions for our customers and employees to maintain um, that six feet distance. Um, especially during the transaction of, uh, you know, the credit cards. And when you're renting the car, you give your driver's license and credit card and keys and paperwork. Of course, I did mention we can turn this into a low contact experience for Gold Rewards members. Um, you are able to skip that counter in the line. So, of course, there is the option for the loyalty members to avoid um, coming into contact at the counter to exchange um, using your gold profile to uh, have your credit card and um, license information as well on there. Um, and of course, I did mention um, we are emphasizing the mask usage, and that is also in combination with the socially um, uh, distant uh, requirements as well. Um, and I believe that concludes our pieces of information. 
Um, and I appreciate everyone's time. Thank you for um, letting me go through kind of the, the car side of um, uh, updates here. And I look forward to questions. Thank you so much, Jessica. And now we're gonna turn it over to those questions that hopefully y'all have been asking during this time through our chat menu. I'm gonna turn it over to Anne Marie and she's gonna ask any of the questions that have come in to our okay. presenters today. But let me first say thank you to Delta, IHG, Holiday Inn Express, and Hertz for being here today and providing us with a little more education on the policies and procedures that we're gonna be seeing as we start traveling again. And Anne-Marie, do we have any questions okay. coming? Very good. Um, don't see any questions yet. We have about 10 minutes if anybody uh, wants to, to ask anything in the chat room. Um, also, a reminder, too, we will be sending out the deck later, so um, specific details for each vendor, you know, you'll have access to those at a later date. Um, but anyone have any questions for the last 10 minutes of our day? Well, well that means no. that uh, that was very informative then. Yay. <laughs> Hopefully so. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's okay. Well, with, with that again, I just want to personally thank everyone for joining the webinar. Um, hopefully you've learned a little bit about all the new systems and protocols that are, that our travel vendors are putting in place. Um, Scott, want to, want to roll off on the end? Absolutely. And I just wanted to say thank you again to all of you attending today. Thank you to our presenters and thank you for your continued support. And we are here coming to travel, if you have any questions, just please reach out and let us know. Thank you guys so much and enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll get these decks out to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot. Great. Thanks everyone. Thank, Thank you. you.